I don't know where we're going with this. I'm a little nervous. Wow. Because of his sunburn, the map on Palado's back is peeling off. Oh. I really wish I didn't have to do that. They are just absolutely shredding everything that I don't get myself. This, this, this is working for me. Oh my god. Now would be a real good time to prove me right, guys. Wow. That was real cool. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Dozens would have been harmed or killed if not for the intervention of Spider-Man, New York's second hero to go by that name. It's my home too. I doubt that. Bye, Haley. Hope to see you again. Best outfit in the game. It's called How to Get Ahead in Navigating. What? Oh my god. Well, look at this. It looks like instructions on how to get ahead. We could give him our head and use these instructions to get ourselves a new one. Yes, I suppose we can give you this now. Thanks. Not sure who I'm in danger from. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was kind of perfect. <laughs> Technically correct. The best type of correctness. That is correct. Nope, too fast. Darn. How do you like the new shell? It's sleek. Can't wait to use the welder. Speaking of... You be of... careful with that thing. If I want you to use it, I'll tell you. Exterminate! Exterminate! Oh my god. And cut that out! Wow. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I guess that should have been fairly obvious that I needed to wait until he was actually there. Oh, nice. It's pretty amazing the difference the rain makes in the controllability of the car. What a time to say that. <laughs> hang on, hang on. We need to examine this air. Oh. 
so uncivilized. No kidding. You said it, Obi-Wan. Oh yeah, this is good. Why would I do that, Aranar? What? You shot my banjo. You can't be sure of that. That shot may have come from the grassy knoll. Oh of all God. the low-down tricks, I never heard of anything so low. I completely misjudged you. You are a pirate after all. Good evening, folks. Welcome back to the Library of Lore. Tonight we're going to do a super secret bonus stream, but we're not going to be playing Baldur's Gate for once, which is kind of killing me a little, but that's okay. Uh, we will be playing Zelda, and that's also an amazing game. Very high contender for Game of the Year for me. Uh, but uh, Baldur's Gate has definitely taken over that position, so let's see. I am going to have to kind of learn how to play the game again, though. Um, might have to learn how to get the game to appear again, too. What happened? Weird. Okay, there we go. Okay, where did we leave off? Oh, there's a temple nearby. Where are we? Oh, we're actually right by Kakariko Village. That's actually kind of ta uh, kind of perfect. Because I did, in fact, want to work on Kakariko Village stuff. So I don't know that we're going to necessarily go and try to figure out this shrine right away. And I guess it kind of depends on where it is. Uh, we need to actually... Where is Adventure Log? There we go. Main story. Crisis at Hyrule Castle. The Dragon's Tears inside... Okay, so actually maybe we'll end up working on some of these... Um... Yeah, the, the geoglyphs. And Princess Zelda. We need to, we need to work on these. <clears throat> but we need to do... Or is it infiltrating the Yiga clan? I wouldn't mind doing that one, but that's not going to be a top priority. Potential princess sightings. That I would kind of like to do. Master Koga. Keys born of water. I could have sworn that there was a Kakariko village stone floating sky circle thing that we need to do. Inside the Forgotten Temple is a map of Hyrule and 11 murals related to the geoglyphs. It seems these geoglyphs appeared in various places after the upheaval when Princess Zelda went missing. So I've still got three geoglyphs. Can I... not... what? Why can I not select the Dragon's Tears one? Shoot. Okay. Oh, maybe it's because it doesn't put convenient waypoints on it for you. All right, fine. We're probably going to have to go back to Dorito Village and see if we can't find the... Uh, the hardest one so far, the least obvious one, is the one around here in Dorito Village area. <clears throat> It's such a snowy landscape that I've had just no luck figuring out where the glyph is supposed to be. So I'm going to see if I can head to some of the sky islands in the area and examine the landscape and see if there are clues that will help us figure that out. Let's maybe not freeze to death, shall we? 
There we go. Nice and warm. And up, up, and away we go. This looks like a reasonably convenient place to try to look around. The only problem is that we do have one of those, uh, you know, the inconveniently placed guys over there. Stompy boy on the edge. Oh. And there's a Gleok down there, although now at least I have some idea of how to actually deal with Gleoks, so that's not quite so bad. If I were a geoglyph, hiding in an arctic area... No, that's a bunch of trees. Never mind. Oh, there is one of these things too, and that I think ties into one of the things that I need to do. So we're gonna see if we can reach that. That might be too far away. Stamina is holding out okay. There we go. Geoglyphs. Most of them are so heckin' obvious. It's easy to figure out where the heck they are. I'm a little nervous about activating this thing just because I don't want it to be one of the ones that drops me down into the depths. I don't see anything obvious. I guess I could pop up this way too. Give me a better view of some of the other areas. Cold Snap Hollow. I wonder if it's more in this direction actually. That would definitely, if it were more that way, that would explain why I can't find it, because I always look over this way. Okay, maybe in that case. Let's look at this. It's etched with ancient Hyrulean text. You cannot read it. Okay, I had nothing to worry about. We're fine here. Where's the other tower? Kita Stone Grove Skyview Tower. And up, up, and away we go again. Hey, Unstara, how's it going?
Okay. Wait. That might be it. That could be it. I'm doing pretty good. It's killing me a little bit to not be playing Baldur's Gate, I have to admit. But at the same time, I think I just finally located the frickin' snow geoglyph that I've been looking for forever. <clears throat> that looks very much like it could be one down below, doesn't it? I'm hoping that's actually it. Or, oh damn it, actually you know, I think I know what this is and I don't think it's a geoglyph. This was in Breath of the Wild if I'm not mistaken. Crap. This was a puzzle in Breath of the Wild where you had to roll snowballs into a particular channel so that they would end up at a specific destination and I think you got a Korok for doing it. So I don't know what you're supposed to do here, but it looks like there are a few snowballs here. Sure, if that's yeah, that's got to be getting bigger, right? Probably not enough, and this I don't think this actually does have anything to do with what I'm trying to accomplish, so sadly. I think I need to fly up and f oh, 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 oh. Interesting. What's this? Kopiki Drifts Cave. Now, sadly, I don't think I can simply swim there. Nope. Only if I want to die real quick.
Nuda Shrine. Or Noda Shrine. Is there anything useful around here? Ah, that's useful. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. What do we got? This shrine imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. Outside equipment is forbidden beyond this point. <coughs> Proving grounds. Intermediate. Okay, let's see. You saw nothing. Okay, so we've got some pillars, we've got some platforms, we've got some ramps. We don't see... Okay, I stand corrected. There is a little bit of machinery around. And we've got some destructible things that I can't seem to climb. We've got some rocks. Interesting. All right, fine. I'll start with you. Ah! Oh, get away with me with that. Wow. I'll take that. Whoa! Ow. Ow, ow. Very ow. Ow. That was worth it. Up. Racer coming in with the raid. Jim, how are you doing? What's going on? Let me get you a shout out. Jim, how was your stream? Tell me all about it. What were you up to? One moment. Oh, Dinkum, I still need to get that game. It looks so good. How is it treating you? What have you done? You've been playing that game for quite a while now. I would love to hear what your experience has been so far overall, because it looks really, really nice. Really, really, uh, you know, exactly my kind of cup of tea. 
sort of uh, the base building, exploration, life sim sort of thing. I love that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, so guys, if you are not following Jim Reiser, please make sure you do go give him a follow and check him out. He's been a friend of the channel for a very long time, plays a lot of sci-fi and a lot of racing games, and obviously a bit of a fan of the life sim genre as well. So if any of you are not following him, make sure you go do that. And as well, if you are new here, my name is Gordon McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single player story driven games with excellent character and narrative development. Lately, I've been playing an enormous amount of Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom and Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, those are kind of my two focus games at the moment. I also play a bunch of sandboxy games. Uh, retro RPGs, classic adventure games, and every now and then I do Lego builds. So if any of that sounds good, please make sure to hit the follow button. And I do have a little bit of a video to welcome you in properly. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Well, welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, shoot. 16-9. Four factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that... Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. go that's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around here how's it going sketchy it's good to see you mad uh playing some dinkum tonight took a couple trips to the deep mines Ooh, tell me about those i don't actually know that whole lot about like a whole lot about um the game so far i've seen bits and pieces of it when you and others have played it but i don't really have a firm handle on what it's all about what you can do all that kind of fun stuff all right, now. Let's see if I can't trigger that. Wait, what, what? Interesting. Huh. This is actually an opportunity. Oh. 
Maybe that's what I want to do. Oh, I can't do auto build. Okay, well, I was going to try to use this to get up there where I wouldn't be immediately murdered by the bots, but it doesn't seem like it wants to cooperate that well. I'm going to have to use the ramp, which looks like it might be potentially more risky. Although, the, on the other hand, might just decide not to actually attack me. So maybe it's actually all right. Ow. Rude. Excuse me, sir. Oh, God. Ooh. He's actually quite hefty. Uh, all right. What have I got in my inventory? I'm gonna need to make some heftier weapons myself. I've got four of these guys. Okay, so I've got a long-range pokey. Um, <laughs> I want, oh, I wonder. Personally offended that this does not want to work. So how's everybody doing tonight? I hope you're all fantastic. Today's Baldur's Gate stream. Oh, did that? Oh, yeah. Okay, that, fair enough. Today's Baldur's Gate stream was ridiculous fun, and I now find myself in the position that I'm not sure exactly which act I'm in. How about... No, okay. You know what? Forget that for now. What else have I got? I've got this. got this. <laughs> and I suppose having a shield's not the worst idea ever. I was going to set something up to try and take him on. Oh, no. No, sir. No, 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 no. No. So there's normal mine where you can get all sorts of ore and treasures, and there are creatures that don't exactly want you there, and there are the deep mines which kicks, kick things up a notch or two. Okay, gotcha.
So do they give you more stuff in the deep mines, or is it a rarer selection of things, or what's the deal? Okay. Hurry it up, guys. Let's just skip this. We're gonna speed run this part. Probably a terrible idea. Or possibly not. Okay, so I got some early damage in on him. Let's let them lose me a little bit. Or not, they're coming right for me. Go on about your business. The intruder is gone. While they're doing that, I'm going to take this and make myself a weapon. it on the club it's a little slower but it's gonna hit harder greater rewards greater risk sounds perfect yeah oh crap I basically just lured a bunch of them down onto the ground haven't I the one out that way looks a little more isolated than the others oh I didn't even notice there was all this out here to climb up here. There might be something hidden up there that I can use. That is, of course... Ah. Never mind. Unless I can be sneaky and clever about my climbing. I might not get that fan to work so that it can blow me up, but I'm, on the other hand could potentially just use it as a climbing ladder. Maybe the battery. Let's test the idea right here, actually. I would like to see if there's anything in behind there. Can I get up here? Yes, I can. Aha! I now have a bit of a problem, however. I have to break my way out of here. Which actually is quite simple to do. So, not such a big problem after all. But, we know this will work. Isn't that grossly overpowered and awesome? I'm gonna keep that in mind for when I've got something more to use it with. It's gonna fall. 
fall straight off. Nope. Okay. Shoot. That's all right. I'll put it over there instead. Come on. There. There we go. Yep. There. There. Perfect. And there's nothing up there. That's rude. Excuse me. How dare you? That will be perfect for my zappy thing. Thank you. Appreciate that. Back! curious why all the leaves down here oh crap <laughs> Okay, I guess we're going for this then. Ow! Oh boy. Son of a gun. Ugh. This guy. can't believe the shock emitter broke so quickly. It's very irritating. I could try using this, though. That gives me better reach, and it hits pretty hard. Nope. This isn't even the final boss of the area. Damn it! Ugh! I hate this guy. I have an idea.
Uh-oh. Ow. Give me that. Thank you. I'm going to get that claymore. Which one is the one with the spiky? There you are. I'd like to take you out next, sir. Thank you. That will be most useful. Appreciate it. I can use this to break my way in and grab the claymore without having to attach the rock to the claymore. Then I'm going to see if I can't attach that shock emitter to the claymore. It should be more durable, last longer, and maybe give me the literal edge that I need to take out Mr. Grumpy up there. <laughs> now what else have I got? I want to attach this spike plate to something, but I'm not sure what would be best. And I'd rather it not be one of my crappy starter wooden weapons. This is making much better work of him. There you go, sir. We'll see how long this lasts. Maybe I won't actually... Oh, take that. Maybe I won't need to attach it to something. No, thank you. So the one that's remaining can't be that terribly scary. Because look at that construct's progress bar. If he were... Oh, there's two of them left. That means they both have to be pretty weak. Oh, I thought for a moment I might have gotten both of them. Done. Okay, now. Ah, it's still here. Excellent. Traveler's sword. Hmm. Oh, 
I don't know if that's going to work, but that might, if I'm lucky, give me a blueprint that I can use to spawn those giant fans outside of the map, or outside of the, the temple. We'll see. Visitor to this shrine of light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Light a blessing. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Perfect. And now the only problem is I've got to get out of here again. I don't suppose I can climb the shrine. Oh, I can. I'm going quite a ways up, aren't I? There we are. Okay, whereabouts are we? Right there. Wait a minute. Oh no! I didn't finish! I didn't get the frickin' bubble frog. I didn't see any place that it could be, though. That's weird. I'll have to go back for that one then at some point. Although bubble frogs, awesome as they are, they're not really my priority. I am not gonna add finish every cave and every bubble frog to my list of things that I have to finish. I am content with finishing all the shrines and all of the temples. And of course, the main story. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Is... It's right here? That's so annoying. Well, at least we solved this mystery. I finally know where the northern one is. Okay, the other thing I need to find is... Where is the weird-looking thing that I need to take a photo of? 
Okay, we did that shrine already. Ugh, never mind. I'll make a specific trip to find that. Oh, there's a shrine there too. But we'll worry about that after we get the geoglyph. Okay, this is a big, big, big geoglyph. Where the heck are we going to find the droplet of water? They're usually on some place flat. Oh, man, already? Okay. Today, sir. I almost wonder if it would be worth spawning in a car just to zoom around and find it faster. Or, alternatively, since this rock just fell, I could hitch a ride back upwards and just glide around over it. That might be good. Ah. It's that time again. Whoa! Well, okay, I guess we're doing it from this height then. Bloodstained moon shines upon the land. The aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. <sighs> I do love that. I have missed that in Baldur's Gate. Okay, well, that didn't give me quite the height I was hoping for, because I fell off too quickly, but... It's better than nothing. Ah, would you look at that? That wasn't so bad. It is mine!
He created them all. <laughs> Holy crap, that was an amazing one. And how appropriate is it that I got it on the night of a blood moon? Huh. And it was perfectly timed, too, because we have our first break coming up in just three and a half minutes. Oof. Okay. Let's make our way over to this temple. I'm not going to start it till after the break because I don't want to divide it in the middle, but uh, wow, that was something. I love the story in this one. It's so good. I mean, I enjoyed the story in Breath of the Wild, but it doesn't hold a candle to this one. This one is real nice. Looks like this might be a little bit of a puzzle to get up to. Well, okay. <laughs> I guess that means it's not going to be that bad to get up to. We can always hit your ride on the rock. first. Oh, is that a Korok down there? I think it is. Oshu Zanyu Shrine. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I didn't want to do this, did I? Oh, it doesn't matter. That's okay. I'm just going to... Actually, I'm going to start my break right now. Because uh, we are now less than a minute away. So if you guys need to get up and grab some food or a drink or a snack or anything like that, this is a very good time to do it. I'm going to get up and move around a little bit. And uh, I usually run clips when breaks are going on so if there are any of you out there that do have to watch the clips 
you're not going to have to miss anything, or I do have to watch the ads, rather. You're not going to miss anything, because I'll just be running clips. You won't miss any gameplay, and I will be back in about three and a half to five minutes or thereabouts. So I'll see you back here in a few. How do you like the new shell? It's sleek. Can't wait to use the welder. Speaking of... You be of... careful with that thing. If I want you to use it, I'll tell you. Exterminate! Exterminate! Oh my god. And cut that out! Wow. <laughs> Oh, it's almost gone. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Wanna come? I heard the secret is just some marketing gimmick Stan thought up. That only the gullible and naive would go looking for it. Tell me about Loom. Oh, I'm so sick of pirates asking me about Loom. Get lost. <laughs> At first. You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way. Assuming you're as much a hunter-gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Smildaf. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't <laughs> let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. Helping the chef is the greatest of causes. It's true. It's true. The, uh, 16-9 form factor. Aspect ratio. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Excuse me, your head is buried inside the floor. I don't know if you're aware of this. Mass effect is much bigger than just Shepard. I guess those are the quote-unquote dead Ewoks. There you go. Oh, okay, so Irenaeus finally arrived. We can found our religion. As is tradition and in accordance with prophecy, we will create our custom religion, Amism. The only companionship I have on all of Dantooine. You live alone with this droid. He is a personal assistance droid. My husband was a genius at constructing droids. He made this one capable of taking care of me for the rest of my life. As the last legacy of my husband, for my own personal ease of mind, I need him back. His absence gnaws at me like a gaping wound. Wow, she really misses her droid, doesn't she? <laughs> Alright, I am back. Let's see what this one's all about.
Mallet Smash. That sounds fun. Oh, this kind of mallet smash. Okay, hang on. Oh, wait a minute. Interesting. Okay. I probably don't need to bring this with me, but we're going to anyway. <laughs> okay then not quite Headed to bed, wanted to say bye before hi before you do. Oh, it's good to see you, Great Red Shark. Or see you again, as the case may be. Okay, I guess I do need two logs after all. Uh, have a fantastic night. Oh, and thank you, Ansar. Thank you. there and we're gonna put that there and we're gonna put that there And then we're going to put this there. <laughs> no way. Now it's too freaking long. <laughs> I will do. I will do, Great Red Shark. As much as I've been... Oh, crap. Oh, you're kidding me. As much as I've been loving Baldur's Gate, I have actually been missing this game, too. So I am having a very good time. Thank <laughs> you. 
There we go. That took way too long. <laughs> but now the other question is, yeah, okay, so... I need the chest. I love it struggling to open under the weight of that thing. Okay, we can ditch this one. Visitor to this shrine of light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Ugh, okay, I'm so happy we finally found that freaking geoglyph. Now, there's supposed to be a couple more. Maybe I think we need to go... Yeah. We need to visit the Forgotten Temple so that we can look at the map and see where the missing two are. And I'll grab these while I'm here.
Oh. I forgot, actually, to take a look at how many uh, lights I have. Okay. So, I've got that one. I'm only missing two. Wait, is there a second Arctic one? What the heck? What is this one? This is one of the missing ones. So it looks like it should be a little bit to the east of this water body over here. And northwest of this one. I have this one. So it should be up in this area that I was looking at before. Well, let's use Lindor's Brow Sky View Tower to see if we can find it. It's supposed to look like a castle. Up, up, and away we go again. Oh, jeez, it's right there. It's no wonder I couldn't see it from the other tower, though. It's on the wrong side of the rock face. Okay. At least this one was easy to find. Not like the other one. Okay, I think we're almost over the water now. got to be right here. As I thought, this is not the world I know. A time so far back in the past, it's become legend. So it's true. This is really the era of Hyrule's founding? 
Your presence here is just as strange to us, Zelda. But if you, like Sonya, have a secret stone and are able to manipulate time, then your story makes sense. Oh? I believed her right away. You needed the secret stone as proof, Raru? <laughs> I can feel your light power within her, as well as my time power. Additionally, I sense that we share a blood connection. Ah, oh, I see. In any case, Zelda, you had said that you needed to return to your era as soon as you possibly could. Yes. In my time, something terrible is happening. I need to get back there. But how do I do that? I don't even know how I got here in the first place. <laughs> Now, Zelda, dear, you don't need to solve your problems all at once. Why not come back with us to the castle, hmm? No, I... We'll tell everyone that you're a, a distant relative of ours. <laughs> it is true, after all. We'll get you fresh clothes, too. Uh, uh... I'm sure an answer will come to you. Wisdom takes time. I don't know what to say. Hmm, I wonder. Minoru, she may have some idea of how to get you back to your era. Minoru? Minoru, you said? Yes. She knows far more than anyone about our people. And like us, my older sister has a secret stone. We'll call on her. That name's not familiar to me. But we only have one memory left. Interesting. <laughs> All right. Back we go then. We have to get back to the Forgotten Temple. And then I need to figure out which is the last one that I don't actually have yet. Let's see, what have we got? Looks like the southeastern part of the map is relatively free of the geoglyphs. Do I have both of the ones that are there, I wonder? I know I've got the dagger. Okay, so yeah, I do. I've got the dagger and I've got this one and that's about it. So I've got that one, I've got that one, do I have the Nintendo Switch one? I've got the Switch. It looks like it might be the dagger that I'm missing.
Which is weird, because I thought... Oh, it was the curved dagger where Princess Sonia lost her life. I don't know what the straight dagger or sword is. It might be a sword. But I guess we will find out shortly, because it's right there. At least this one looks like it'll be relatively easy to search. It looks fairly long, but it doesn't have the width that's going to make it a problematic search like the, uh, the other one did. Okay. And here's our Korok. Every one of them seems to have a Korok. Thank you, little buddy. I guess for this one, I'm probably going to need to switch up my outfit, maybe put on my climbing gear. Didn't miss anything? Nope. Okay. Managed to restrain him somehow. But Link, I am not sure you'll be able to stop him. Just a sword. Your 
you're telling me that Link is safe? You traveled through time to find me and recover your strength. <gasps> Zelda, I believe there is a reason you were sent to us. It has to mean something. I know why I am here. It's something only I can do. We will finally stop him. <laughs> to become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. What? I'll be forever changed. What? Link. You must find me. So, wait just one minute here. Did Zelda become one of the frickin' dragons and she's been here the whole time? Excuse me, what? Oh. Okay, that was not where I saw this going. The dragon's tears, what the hell? A master sword in time. As Zelda worries about the Demon King breaking free in the future, a decayed master sword appears before her, delivering the news to Zelda that Link is safe in her time. This helps Zelda realize the reason behind her traveling to the ancient days of Hyrule. She finally knows what she must do. But I still seem to be missing a few memories here and there. How is that possible? What the heck? Oh, that's amazing. Also kind of sad. Unless maybe we get to transform Zelda back. Wow. Oof. The story in this game really is fantastic. I love it so much. Is that you, Zelda? Oh my god, it has blonde hair.
and the Master Sword. It was right above us the whole frickin' time. Link. Link. The Master Sword. Your sword. She is the key to destroying the Demon King. He defeated her before, but... A long slumber will heal these grievous wounds. And when you two next face the Demon King... You will have my strength to help you through her. Link, you are our final hope. I pray. Reaches you in the future. Oh, this is so cool. I love it. Whew. I was not expecting this particular stream to be so heavy. Wow. Ooh. The legendary sword that seals the darkness. Its corruption was healed by its time with the light dragon. The blade gleams with a sacred luster that can oppose the demon king.
Now, why are we back here again? Hey, Sandy, welcome. enough I'm doing pretty good uh, the game is blowing my mind a little bit I've just finished finding all of the geoglyphs and I picked the perfect one to end the search on so I, I'm a little bit gobsmacked I hope you're having a good night yeah oh my god it's so good. I haven't played this game in a little while. I stopped after Baldur's Gate 3 came out. But I'm taking a bit of a break and doing a secret bonus stream tonight. I don't usually stream at this time. And, uh, ooh. It's good to be back in this world. And making some pretty momentous discoveries. Now, whereabouts are we? That looks like the switch one down there. Nope. Other way. This way. Where is... Hmm. Oh, okay. We're ways away. We want to be out here. Oh, that's an awesome emote. I hope you're having a good night this evening. Or whatever time of day it is for you, I suppose. <laughs> I'm still processing a little bit. I just did the sword geoglyph. And so I finally got to the part where Zelda's realized why she was in the past and what she had to do. One AM? Oh, so uh you're roughly the same time zone I am. It's just about one AM for me as well. So actually while we're up here Okay, so I just got the Master Sword. Oh, and it looks like the Light Dragon's not flying around over here anymore. Interesting. Oh, uh, thank you. Oh, you were lurking. Okay. Oof. This year has been something for game releases. Jedi Survivor, Tears of the Kingdom, Baldur's Gate 3, Starfield in less than a month. I think it's like, what, three weeks away now? Those are the big RPGs for me. And then we've got City Skylines 2 coming in October. Next year is going to be a bit of a disappointment in comparison, I swear. Breath of the Wild PhD? Yeah, I can see that. I love Breath of the Wild. I only actually finished that one earlier this year. But, uh... As great as it was, it barely holds a candle to this one. So here we go, cutscene again. We're kind of racing through them right now.
Two days, damn. That's some good timing. After all, you possess more than power over time. You have a sacred power that can dispel evil. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon, one blessed with eternal life. Minoru, I'm counting on you. Restore the master sword for you. I will care for it until the time comes. I will pour my sacred power into it. It will be the weapon that defeats the Demon King. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. Oh, and the tears of the memories. The tears of the kingdom, of course.
Amazing. Whew. Oh, I love it. That was so good. Of course, we now must steal all of the flowers. Whew. All right. So now that that one is finished, oh, hang on. Oh, now it's given us a new marker. It really is. That was amazing. That's so good. Interesting, though. Tear of the Dragon 5, but I don't have all of them. I've done this, but there's no tear icon on it. Or on this one. There is one down here. We might have to revisit a few of these. But for now, what we need to do is we go back here again. Because we have to talk to... What's her name? It does make me wonder what's going to happen with the next game, though. If they have written Zelda into being one of the immortal dragons. I mean, oh, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? We don't know where this game fall, uh, or Breath of the Wild falls officially on the timeline, do we? So Zelda can still be in the next one. Okay, let's see what we got here. See, so the dragon's tears were shed by Princess Zelda when she transformed. And the geoglyphs were drawn by an ancient people who touched those memories and saw visions as you did. Perhaps in the past, they were more attuned to that sort of thing than the people of today. Oh. Hmm, I understand now, so that is the truth of it all. Link, if all of the memories you saw are true, then that means... Since our Princess Zelda has become the light dragon, she can never again return to her original form. Oh. It is painfully tragic, our dear Princess Zelda. Oh. No, it cannot be. Oh. There must be a way, some method to restore Princess Zelda to her former self. Link, I will return to Kakariko Village and review the ancient literature once more. That is the most I can do to help Princess Zelda. Okay. Oof. Ugh. I think after that, we still have like five minutes, but I'm going to take my break slightly early and just grab something to drink because I think I need it. And uh, then we'll, maybe we'll head back to Kakariko Village ourselves and see what's going on over there. I did kind of want to work on the sky circles and all that and figure out the mystery of why Zelda wanted everything sealed up or why foe Zelda wanted everything sealed up and not investigated. So uh, I'll be back in just a few minutes. I'm going to run some ads while they're up and uh, then we'll carry on. So if you need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack, now's a real good time. Oh, come on. Tell me about Loom for old time's sake. Beat it. <laughs> Say it. Say it. No. <laughs> Say it. Fine. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score, and musical effects. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Beat the rush! 
Go out in Bailoom today. Yes. Now get lost. <laughs> Mega colossal eruption. People flee in terror as pyroclastic flows lash the slopes of the volcano and jets of smoke pour into the sky. That's really awesome because that's right near my new city. So we're not close enough to be terribly affected by it, but we can possibly take advantage of it. I have to leave him here. He's going to get shot to death if I don't. Gristle is still alive after all this. Oh man, he's got that whole walking through the explosion thing down. Oh, that looks like Terrytown. Oh, hey, whoa, 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 gimme. Something's moving something around here. Here. Some kind of... Oh, that's a spider. Get out of here. You know, I'm actually starting to regret even putting on level 1 arachnophobia. The eight legs are kind of a nice giveaway that, hey, there's a spider. Blah! Oh my god! Don't you think so? You don't get a much closer view than this. For added protection, each vehicle is surrounded by aluminum oxynitride glass. So tough. That's a pretty good tidbit to share right at this moment. Wait, 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 whoa. Hang on, hang on. Tunipudu Rana no prata dung no sarcha it you a penki. You fool. I hadn't looted the place. Damn it. I'm sure this is nothing to be concerned about at all. that working out for you? Okay, I'm back. Oh. I suppose our journey has come to an end. I think I will return to the village alongside Lady Impa. Thank you, Mad. Ooh, okay. Kakariko Village it is. Uh, that's the worst domain. There we go.
Okay, where would Impa be? Maybe over... Yeah, maybe over here. Now that we know that the Zelda who ordered it is not Zelda. No, she's not here. Maybe she's at her old house. Link, hard to believe it's night already. Would you like to rest at the inn? Mm. Lady Paya is still young, so I understand her enthusiasm with the ring ruins. But, and this is just between us, I wonder if it's more of an obsession. I hope she realizes soon what it means to be chief. Hmm. Journal of Various Worries. I don't think I'll ever find a bed that's as comfortable as the stone slab in the ring ruins. It's so cool and comfortable. I may never be able to sleep in a regular bed no matter how soft ever again. What should I do? I guess I'll sleep on it and figure it out later. For better or worse. <laughs> Does anyone know how to treat gloom sickness? Anything helps. So if you have information, bring it to Lasley right away. Monsters appeared at the ring ruin out among the hills that lead west of here, disrupting my research. Is anyone out there capable of dealing with something like this? I'm not from the village, so I hope it's okay for me to ask. Drenja, Zonai survey team. The cuckoos used to lay their eggs in front of the store, but they've been wandering off somewhere in the mornings. So where are those dang cuckoos laying their eggs? We rely on their, on those eggs for our business. Trissa, High Spirits Produce. The secret base is a secret just between me and Mommy. So no one is allowed to follow me ever. That's what makes it secret. Not Kotla. All right, let's just poke around and see what we can find. Impa's got to be here somewhere. Like, maybe there. No, that's not... That's Paya. Mm. Master Link, is there anything you need from me? I haven't discerned anything about Princess Zelda's whereabouts. Oh, do I have news for you. So I'm not sure I can be of any help for you, to you. However, my plan is to investigate the ring ruins as thoroughly as possible. Dorian, my aide, does not seem too happy about it, but I believe this falls under my duty as chief, and so it must be done. Ah. That's all I have for you at the moment. Please stay as long as you please. That looks like where the cuckoos go. There we go. Oh, is that... Nearby up above. Interesting. I don't think I've been up here before. Your name, sir. 
Wake up! Oh, please wake up! Saguru is not far off, and if he finds out someone's been sleeping on one of the stone slabs, a priceless artifact, I'll be the one who gets it. Ah, uh, yes. Stone slabs are, well, slabs, like the one this guy's sleeping on. The survey team discovered stone slabs in each of the ring ruin sites of here. They found this one in the ruin above us. Our leader is able to read Zonai writing and says the text on this slab is a record of a historic fight. One that was between a great king of that era and the demon king. The ruler did not or could not defeat the demon king and instead imprisoned that mighty foe. The text also says that the sages who fought beside this ruler left something behind in case the demon king returned. It worries me to know this discovery talks about a demon king's return and here the upheaval has just happened. If only we knew what those sages did to prepare in case he came back. Ah, oh, sorry. Didn't mean to think and fright at the same time there. You can read the deciphered writing for yourself. It's all right next to the slab. <sighs> I've got to do something about this guy soon, though. The Saguru's in the ruins above, and he'll come back here eventually. Okay, where is the deciphered? Ah, oh, there it is. Get your feet off the stone slab. <laughs> the stone slab at the large ring ruin. Some translation notes by Taro. <clears throat> the demon king, vast power, no hope, victory, king's own life, managed, imprisoned him. Imprisoned, not indefinitely. Prepare demon revival. We sages must leave our knowledge future generations. Good thing we're on top of all of this already. Reading between this line, reading between the lines, this stone slab seems to be a record of how the king in those days challenged the demon king. If I had to extrapolate the meaning, I'd guess it's something like this. The reigning king determined that they were no match for the demon king and gave his own life to imprison the threat. The sages tried to leave something for the people of the future who would have to prepare for the Demon King's revival. Okay. Not to worry, sir. We are on it. Did Pura send you? I'm Saguru. Nice to meet you. I specialize in studying the Sky Islands. I mean, look at all those fascinating ruins just dropping out of the sky. Great stuff, right? Uh -huh. Hmm? Wait, you're not with the survey team. This is an official Ring Ruins research site. It's dangerous here for civilians. <laughs> but if you're the sort of guy who comes all the way out here for curiosity's sake, you must be a researcher at heart. Since you're here, I'm happy to answer questions, um, as long as they're about the Sky Islands. I want to know more about armor made with Zonai tech. Clothing and culture are tied together, and there's so much we don't know about either of them. So many mysteries. Anyway, the bigger the Sky Island, the bigger the settlements. We think some sort of cultural relic must be up there. But since we can't get up there, it's all conjecture. I'll have to content myself studying the ring ruins. I'm not boring you, am I? Because I can go on about the Sky Islands forever. Go ahead, ask me anything. You know when you start daydreaming and stare off into the sky and then go, whoa, a floating ruin? That's a sky island. Ah. Remnants of the Zonai civilization, like these ring ruins, have fallen all over. Turns out they, came, they come from the sky islands. Which means... <laughs> the whole Zonai legacy is up there. The islands are untouched, so everything must be well preserved. <laughs> I'm not boring you, am I? We're not sure what lives up there, but we found new species of plants around the fallen ruins. And if there are plants, I'm sure other things live up there too. If you're interested in that sort of thing. Oh. Try talking to Cory. She's our resident plant expert. Right now she's trying to cultivate plants that were attached to the ruins. If that interests you, you should definitely ask her about it. We don't have a way to get to the Sky Islands, at least not yet. I'd love to go someday. 
I bet the folks in Terrytown could improve the balloon. I wish I had a reason to head northeast. Whoop. Oop. Nope. Don't. Please don't fall. Nope. Nope. Come on, Link. Do the thing. Oh, God. up there. Wait a minute. Why did I lose the... <laughs> of course there's a Gorok. Why wouldn't there be a Gorok? Thank you. Where is the shrine? Now it's below? What the heck? If I were a secret shrine, where would I be? Oh. I'll settle for a secret chest for now. Nice. Oh, crap. It's not... Oh, God. It's not searching for shrines. It's searching for frickin' sticky frogs. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I I had forgotten about that. I had forgotten all about that. I was upgrading armor last time I played this, if I remember correctly. And I needed Sticky Frogs to upgrade one of the sets. If I can get to the Forbidden Ring Ruin. I think that's this one over here, isn't it? Yeah. That's gotta be it. Let's see if they can stop me this time. Or really? <laughs> It's strictly forbidden to get near that ring ruin by Princess Zelda's orders, so you'd better be on your way. Oh. Mm. I could promise you very, very certainly that that was not Zelda, sir. Alright, we still have not managed to actually find Impa. Now that I know there's no shrine hidden at the top of the ring... We can get back to looking for her. 
That guy's a pain in the butt. He really is. And also, that applies equally to auto mods sometimes. Sorry about that. <laughs> Ulkin. Steen and I stand united for this village. Oh, that's cool. Who are you? Melly. Hmm? Are you one of those tourists who come to poke around the ring ruins? A lot of older folks live around here. This little village used to be as quiet as a dusty old tomb. But then Paya became chief, and lots of you youthful types have been coming around. Now it's quite lively. I just worry with that with all the new folks running around, something might happen to my plum garden. The previous chief planted these beautiful plum trees on the day I was born. They are a part of me. I take care of them like I would take care of my own children. Cory over with that survey team shows my trees proper respect, so I let her use part of my garden for her research. She uses it to grow something called a sundalion. It seems important, so I keep careful watch and don't fuss with it. Oh, okay. I lost it. Relatable. My, my, what brought you here? Were you worried about me? Well, don't you fret. Thanks to you, I'm feeling better than I ever have. Good to know. Have I been down here? I don't know that I have been. I have not been. Come on, Link. You're usually faster to grab stuff than that. It's starting to seem kind of maze-like. Eightfold Blade. Now, if I recall correctly, I already have the Eightfold Blade appearing down in the Underdark in pristine form, so I don't really need this one, but that's okay. I'll grab it anyway, for now. Well, I was not expecting this. My beloved husband always gives it his all when working in service of others. I admire that about him. He's been working himself to the bone ever since being granted the honor of guarding Lady Impa. I wish for him to always be in good health and good spirits. That's why I made him a tough, meat-stuffed pumpkin using fortified pumpkin and fresh meat. I was thrilled that he kept saying it was tasty and going back for more. I hope it filled his heart as well as his stomach. My little Kotla, my perfect girl. I love her so very much. She truly is the apple of my eye. Speaking of apples, she seems to have quite the taste for hot buttered apple. She's like an adorable little squirrel, always stuffing her cheeks full of them. If I could, I would cook endless amounts of apples and goat butter to keep my little one happy. Coco is my precious treasure. As a sibling, she's an absolute sweetheart. She cares so deeply for her little sister. Ever since Kotla was born, Coco doesn't ever whine or complain anymore. She is so strong and so wonderful. Luckily, Mommy knows that Coco loves energizing honeyed apples. It's a tad difficult to collect honey, but it's so long as I carry fire with me, the bees won't attack. I would go to any lengths to see my Coco's smiling face. Even a few bee stings here or there are well worth it. Okay. 
Okay. Swift carrots. And fortified pumpkins. Pretty much went right up one of the mountains, I guess. Oh, I think I actually read about that cave now that I think about it. A silent princess growing right over it. That's familiar. Yeah, it's actually not the fire, technically. It's the smoke from the fire makes bees docile. But that's a real thing that they've uh, included in the game lore. <laughs> East Hill. It's a shame we can't enter that floating ring. I bet there's a slab in there packed with juicy information. Okay, well... Oh, did they have captive gloom? That's fun. The wind suddenly picked up. Is there something going on nearby? I don't know what could cause it. Though I did once hear a legend that there are dragons in this world. It couldn't be that, could it? No, no. I mustn't let a little wind spook me. Watch it! Don't sneak up on me. Yikes, that was close. I almost fell in this strong wind we're getting. Huh? I'm a specialist in gloom, not defying gravity. One false step and that's the end of my research. Now what brings you here? Have you come for a professional consult consultation on gloom, perhaps? Uh. Actually, I would like oh. to ask somebody where the innkeeper is. Ah. Oh. The inn owner. Oh, the spacey-looking fellow. He made the, be the, 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 the beds recently, but I haven't seen him since. Oh. Perhaps he went to that tent over there. He said he'd have an easy time finding it because of the bizarre ruins on the spot. Uh. I wonder if he made it. It looked like he was about to fall asleep. Barren grasslands to the south. The wind grew fierce, and when she looked up in the sky, she thought she saw something flying. Now, would that be a gleok or a dragon? Where's the Farron Plains? Farron grasslands. I know there was a gleok here until I murdered it. Well, actually, I guess it's back again because we had a blood moon. So, probably a gleok. Actually, there's another one in that general area, too, now that I think about that. Yeah. That whole story about Princess Zelda had me reeling, so I never introduced myself properly. Sorry about that. Once again, my name is Taro. I'm here on Paya's request to investigate the ruins that fell around this village. Oh. Princess Zelda ordered everyone to stay out of the floating ring ruins. It's a hard thing to ask of us, but she's the princess. Mm -mm. Not so much, actually. Nothing to do in the meantime, but keep investigating the other ruins. Oh. Have you been to them yet? There's four other ring ruins around the village. Most of them broke apart on impact. Inside each site, we found an intriguing stone slab. If you ask me, these slabs will be the key to unlocking the mysteries of the Zonai civilization. Great. Okay. Um. Huh. 
I'm going to track down this innkeeper and see if maybe he knows where Impa would be. This is a curious place to ask that question. Going to Kakariko Village by any chance, or are you returning from there? We're both standing in it, sir, ma'am. I do not see an innkeeper. Like the other ring ruins, those that fell to the plateau south of the village also held a stone slab with stone eye inscriptions. Curiously, we also discovered a flower growing in the ruin, the likes of which we had never seen. References in ancient texts revealed that it was a sundalayan, a plant long thought extinct. We are currently borrowing a local plum orchard for our cultivation efforts and hoping our studies prove fruitful. Note, our investigation of the round device filled with strange objects has meanwhile come to a standstill. Nobody here, huh? Hello? You wanted to see the floating ring ruin, Totsi, but you, Totsi, but you fell asleep? You're really missing out. Wait, you're not Tatsuna. What business do you have startling folks like that? Um, you being startled is kind of a you problem, actually. Not really mine. Stone slab at the southern ring ruin. Some translation notes. Who protect of Hyrule from the demon king together. King... They were, there were known as sages. What I take from this is that it's about a facet of Hyrule as it was in those days. If I were to guess at how to fill in the gaps, it goes something like, there were those known as sages who protected the kingdom of Hyrule from the demon king. Okay, let's see. Maybe I need the adventure log here. You didn't find Princess Zelda on the Sky Island when you awoke, where you awoke. When you touched the light in the Temple of Time, you felt her presence, however faintly as a voice rang out in your mind. Link, you must find me. Where is Princess Zelda? Was there anything more she was trying to tell you? It's become clear that there are 13 stone tablets documenting the Age of Legends. By deciphering all of them, one could learn about the lives of the royal family in that era, which was not documented in any history book. Capture the stone tablets in pictures and show them to Wurtsworth in Kakariko Village. You still need to capture 12 stone tablets. I think I've gotten at least one, two, maybe even three since then, so it's not 12 anymore. Oh. Well, did you find a stone tablet? According to the stone tablet at Lookout Landing, we have 12 tablets left to find. Oh. If you happen to find more stone tablets on your travels, get some kind of visual evidence of them and show it to me. I'll make sure there's a nice reward in it for you. <laughs> I knew you could do it. I'm excited to get a look at this. Hmm. Interesting. I'll get right to translating it. Oh, huh. Incredible. Oh. 
It's first-hand Hyrulean history. Here's what the original text says. Sonia, queen to Hyrule's king by Berthilian Presteress. Pre Maybe that's supposed to be princess. Herself born of Lond, not of sky of Oh, God, this is terrible. Speaking she with open heart, earnest to all, even to the Zonai king. This king... Th oh, God. I hope he translates it better. <laughs> hey, Jared, how's it going? Of the land's folklore to send... His, uh, the, listen, his, oh, Jesus. Hello? This one looks to be about Queen Sonia. Okay, thank God he's translating it because I can't read that. It claims that Sonia was a priestess before marrying Raru. Despite his status as a Zonai, a people popularly thought to be gods, she would counsel him without any trepidation. Moreover, Raru heeded this counsel. Ah. Incredible. This account gives us first-hand knowledge of the nature of King Sonia and Queen Ra er, Queen Sonia and King Raru's relationship. Raru found himself unexpectedly charmed by her strong will, and before long they were married. Hmm. Um, that last bit isn't in the text. That's me speculating. Nonetheless, this is truly fascinating. History rarely speaks of a person's character prior to being elevated to royalty, so I can't help but fantasize. Thank you, Link, and I haven't forgotten about your reward. Huh. The thought of such incredible historical artifacts falling down all over Hyrule is so exciting. According to the stone tablet at Lookout Landing, we have 11 tablets left to find. Ah. Enjoy your lurk, Jarek. Mm. I'll get started translating right away. Hmm. Oh, yes, I see what we have here. Oh. A first-hand historical account. Mm. Okay, I'm not going to try reading this. I'm going to wait for the translation. Oh. It's actually a very enlightening story. Apparently, King Raru would vacate his official business from time to time in order to go out hunting. I had the impression he was a stricter, more serious king, but I guess he had a lighter side as well. Mm. However, Queen Sonia was always a step ahead. She would put a stump to King Raru's hunts and bring him back. In some circumstances, you might expect this to have been a point of tension at their court. <laughs> but the tone here is much more playful than that. These royals were more relatable than one might assume. Or so it seems from this account, at least. How fascinating. Ah. We rarely get a glimpse at the, into the down-to-earth side of royalty in this way. It's an important find, to be sure. Very good. And as promised, I have a reward for you. Hey, Greenie, how's it going? Ah. This has been... Oh, my God. I got the Master Sword. And I finished all of the geoglyphs. And my brain is kind of imploding a little bit. Just killed the third? What do you mean? Oh. Okay, do I have any more? <laughs> Hang it up on the laboratory wall. Uh. Oh, the Gabo leaders. Very nice. Congratulations, Greenie. I had trouble finding all three of them. Ah. Thank you for bearing with me. I put what you brought me over there. Mm. Uh, Mintharo was the last one for me. You're welcome to come and have a look at the research lab wall anytime. Oh. If you find any more stone tablets, please do document them with a picture so I can see. Okay, we're going to have to find all of those, I think. The strong queen and the receptive king. The harmonious couple.
<laughs> no problem, Greeny. Have a good night. I might see you later. Okay, let's see. Oh, I already got my heart. Food shop. I'm at a bit of a loss as to where Lady Impa would be. Unless maybe she's just not here yet because I need to do more of other things. We can always work. There's one particular uh, tablet that I would love to get a photo of. I wonder if it was below here. Yeah, oh, it has to be below here. Okay. Because there was one that dropped right down a chasm. It fell out the bottom of its thing and plummeted down into the depths. And I didn't know I was supposed to be taking pictures, so I just kind of took off. All right, so let's convert this stamp. I'm gonna make that yellow. And, um... We don't have any construction areas right nearby, do we? Oh, there's one here. By the way, folks, I think Greeny's taken off by now, but he is an amazing friend and fellow streamer who is right now, as we speak, currently streaming Baldur's Gate 3. So let me get him some shoutouts. Oh, whoops. There we go. So make sure you go follow him. He's been a friend of the channel forever. He has a very chill, sort of laid-back vibe to his stream that's very similar to mine in a lot of ways. And there's a lot of overlap in the kind of stuff that we like to play. He's maybe a little more intensely into RPGs than I am. I do love my RPGs, but I... You wouldn't know it by watching me this year. But I tend to try and keep a pretty good variety of things going. Oh, crap. Hang on. Whereas he specializes just a little bit more than I do. Where's my gloom armor? Builder thingy. Oh, there it is. It's downwards. Yeah, so he does a lot of playthroughs of well, Baldur's Gate. He's gone through the entire franchise this year. He played through Baldur's Gate 1 and then Baldur's Gate 2. I think he was going to do some Neverwinter Nights with a conversion module that was supposed to do Descent into Avernus. I think he decided against it, though, because it wasn't as close a conversion as he wanted. Uh, but yeah, now he's pretty addicted to uh, Baldur's Gate 3, as I am. Right, where's my cycle? Come on. Come on. No. Do the thing. There you go. <laughs> Dr 
Shrena Canyon Mine. There is a reason for that. This is indeed Midna's helmet. It has gloom resistance properties, which makes it pretty convenient down here. Here it is. Okay. Wonder if I can fly this thing out of here. Probably not. I kind of want to try it though, just to see if I can. Oh, hello. Oh god, it's very hot. <laughs> um Ah. Oh, no, nope. come on. Come on. Out towards the middle. Oh, Jesus. Why? Why do you have to fly right here? Oh, nope. 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 No. Nope. Come on. No. Uh. Damn it. Okay, forget it. I was so close, though. In theory, it might actually be possible. All right, where were we going? Um, I guess, actually, we probably want to start mostly in the Sky Islands. Where would there be more of them that I haven't gotten? Luckily, they tend to have distinctive shapes. So that's one there. So this tower is probably good. Oh, right. I forgot this one's underground. Okay. What should we wear? Probably more cold gear than anything.
should be right ahead of us and below. Oh. Low gravity. Oh crap, not this again. Duck! <laughs> okay, uh, in that case, maybe we want our free fall suit. Nope, actually I was right the first time. Okay, um, so that's that one. There's got to be one around here somewhere. Uh, right there, there's one. I don't see one around here, so it's got to be this one. Now, I could just start right from over here. But let's see if there is... Yeah, okay, this will probably be better. I presume I have the well. Yeah, okay, that's already on my map. Good. Up we go. Okay, now where? Okay, so that should be just southwest of us. Southwest is off this way. Hopefully it's not above us. It doesn't look like it is. Um, oh, more this way. Oh, it's almost directly below me. nervous now about setting foot on the platform. Now I have to get the right angle. <clears throat> oh, good. It's actually stable. Okay, so that's that one. There's another one over here. That one looks higher up. And it looks like the tower is roughly directly to the east of where we're going. You know a cute little dog named Midna? That's awesome. I'm not very familiar with Midna as a character. I just know that uh, it is a character in Zelda and that... Uh, it is, there is a, an outfit, or at least a partial outfit, based on it. Okay. Oh, shoot. 
I don't think I've got the height to get to that one. That could be a problem. What the heck? How then? All I can think of is maybe going here. Yeah, I played the tiniest little bit of Twilight Princess before figuring out that it really wasn't my kind of game. Or at least it wasn't appealing to me at that point in my life. I don't know if I would feel differently now. Okay, let's see. How do we get up? We need some serious height for this. It's not often even the... Uh, nope. It's a night spear. It's not often the towers don't loft you up high enough. Never played but watched a stream. Wolf Link is from there too. Yeah. I know it's a lot of people's favorite game in the Zelda series. Oh, right. I have to do a thing. you it was the second Zelda game that missed the mark well they're not all going to appeal to everybody a lot of people didn't like Breath of the Wild because it was so vastly different from what had come before oh five minute warning guys we're going to be taking another break in about five minutes might be the last break I'm going to try to actually stick to my bonus streams ending around three just because I've been staying up way too late and it has not been working out very well for me. <laughs> I'm trying to stay up too late and get up too early and I can't do both of those things at the same time. It turns out it just does not work so great. Okay, where is that thing? Okay, so it's towards this island, which is almost due south, but not quite. Out there. First Zelda game you could not stand was the cartoony one for the GameCube. Oh, you mean Wind Waker? I actually loved Wind Waker. I didn't ever finished it, but I played a lot of it. You know, honestly, I think one of the reasons that Twilight Princess did not appeal to me was that it didn't seem cartoony enough. It felt like an artistic misstep trying to make the characters somewhat more realistic and gritty and I didn't care for it.
Okay. I'll take another just for safety. All right, let's head back to Kakariko. I know that's not all of them, but that's a pretty good chunk. We just got several. And also the ads are starting, so I don't want to just start out searching for another one right away, even though they are pretty quick to get. Ten left to get. This should bring it down to seven. Ah. Hmm. I'll get started translating right away. I see now what we have here. Oh. A first-hand historical account. Here's what the original text says. Mm. Okay, we're not gonna... We're gonna, not gonna do that. So King Raru's older sister was named Minoru. Ah. Wait, what? Why did my ads just reset? Why is it saying they're going to start in five minutes? I'm pretty certain I did not snooze that. <laughs> That's weird. Here we learn a bit about Minoru. It says that she neglected to eat or sleep while making something called a construct. It was part of her research into a means of returning to life as a spirit possessing a new body should her original one die. Mm. To you or I, this sounds less like history and more like a sort of ghost story. But remember who we're dealing with. They may have had unfathomable powers that made such things possible. The revelation that Minoru was a fellow researcher makes her feel like a kindred spirit to me, and yet... Ah. The Chamberlain, who inscribed these stone tablets, treats Minoru with such care and kindness that it warms my heart. Thank you, Link, and I haven't forgotten about your reward. Ah. The thought of such incredible historical artifacts falling down all over her Hy Hyrule is so exciting. According to the stone tablet at Lookout Landing, we have nine tablets left to find. Do you have any others? This is vital research. I want to see as many of these stone tablets as you can show me. Ah. Hmm. I'll get started translating right away. Hmm. I think this is the one we just got. Oh. A first-hand historical account. Here's what the original text says. Mm. Princess, uh, yeah, okay. We'll wait for the translation. Oh. The variety of tales on these stone tablets continues to fascinate me. Zelda apparently m visited Minoru often to assist with her research. Mm. I have no idea what kind of thing this construct that allowed people to ride on it was. But Zelda wrote it so well that our, one, our author, the Chamberlain, was again impressed by her skill at everything she tried. That's the long and short of it here. <laughs> but more than the narrative, what strikes me is the back and forth between the Chamberlain and Zelda. The Chamberlain tried to warn Zelda of the danger, but Zelda pushed past her and rode the construct anyway. It's short, but so evocative of both the level of technology found in this era and the character of their visitor, Zelda. Oh. The treasure found in these stone tablets is the pearls of wisdom and nuggets of personality contained within. Very good. I thank you, not just with words, but with this as well. Ah. 
eight left to find. Okay. Um, mysterious ghostly snoozing, which is probably caused by one of the mods, aside, I'm going to take my break right now, and I'll be back in a few minutes, and then we will figure out what this last one says, and then maybe go grab a few more. So if you need to get up and grab some food, drinks, or snacks, now's a real good time to do it, and I'll meet you back here in just a few. What's wrong with... <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> oh. Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be cut. Shut up. <laughs> Oops. But it was stream related stuff and it went incredibly well, so I'm very happy with the results. Watch out for that. Yeah, that. Don't panic and wait for help if you are in the affected area. So far, so good. I haven't died yet. Not going out back. That pretty much means I'm guaranteed not to die ever, I think. moving something around pretty fast in here. Some kind of... Oh, that's a spider. Get out of here. You know, I'm actually starting to regret even putting on level 1 arachnophobia. The eight legs are kind of a nice giveaway that, hey, there's a spider. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> uh. Okay. Did I miss something? Why is Serana murdering me? <laughs> They've lost my trail because I am so... Incredibly inconspicuous. Probably shouldn't loot the bodies right away. Whoops. Okay, that's a new combat technique I had never considered before. Okay, I am back. All right. Here's a picture. <clears throat> A first-hand historical account. I'm impressed that she's managing, or it's he, sorry, that he is managing to be so surprised every single time another one turns out to be yet another first-hand historical account. Mm. Thank you, Mad. Enjoy your lurk, Sandy. Oh. This one is an ancient ghost story. My understanding of ancient Hyrulean isn't perfect, but I know a good ghost story when I see one. Oh. 
It's a first-hand account of a ghostly or maybe corpse-like woman who appeared each night looking just like their Zelda. No matter the era, it seems, people can't resist sharing a good ghost story. A bit like how there have been eyewitness accounts of our Princess Zelda in the newspaper, even though she's missing. Could our Zelda be a ghost too? Yes. No, of course not. There's no such thing. As a believer in science, I should know better than to suggest such things. Please forget I said anything. Thank you, Link, and I haven't forgotten about your reward. Oh. The thought of such incredible historical artifacts falling down all over Hyrule is so exciting. According to the stone tablet at Lookout Landing, we have seven tablets left to find. Do you have any others? This is vital research. I want to see as many of these stone tablets as you can show me. <laughs> I had another one? Oh, the one in the depths. Nice. Oh. Mm. Oh. This is unbelievable. The details are unclear, but essentially the Chamberlain trusted in Minoru and Zelda's predictions and wanted to help. She put forth the suggestion to Minoru to build a mechanism that could make her stone tablets float in the sky. Oh. Which I take it are the very tablets you found, Link. Simply incredible. In finding the fantastic devices they built to preserve these records, you fulfilled the wishes she wrote of here. And it doesn't end there. If I'm reading this right, it suggests that their Zelda worked with Minoru to raise the Temple of Time into the sky. The idea of the Temple of Time, a grand edifice built, built in that ancient era, being lifted to the skies to await a hero. Oh. Trust me, that's what it says. Although given the appearance of the Sky Islands after the upheaval, perhaps it's not so far-fetched as it seems. There are so many revelations here. My hands are trembling from all the strange, exciting ideas. And that's from merely reading an account long removed from the event. What must it have been like for the Chamberlain to live through it? Very good. I thank you, not just with words, but with this as well. Oh. The thought of such incredible historical artifacts falling down all over Hyrule is so exciting. According to the stone tablet at Lookout Landing, we have six tablets left to find. Oh. If you happen to find more stone tablets on your travels, get some kind of visual evidence of them and show it to me. I'll make sure there's a nice reward in it for you. <laughs> oh, what a significant find. Thank you so much for showing me. A discovery this valuable deserves a special place among my records. I'll hang it up on the laboratory wall. Ah. Thank you for bearing with me. I put what you brought me over there. Oh, wow. It's filling up pretty nicely, isn't it? Oh. Okay, that's awesome. That's really cool. Oh, nope. Okay, so we've got, yeah, six of them so far with six left to go. So we're already done half. And I had barely even started when we got going today. So let's take another look in the skies, shall we? We just got this one. Oh, it's... That's so convenient. It's marking them for me. I love that. There's another one over here that we have to do. Uh... Interesting. That's pretty far from any of the towers. Although this tower is on a mountaintop. Maybe I can get it from here.
up we go. Okay, so we want to go due south, this away. Almost that away. More like this away. Oh, there it is. Yeah, we should be able to make that, I think. I've certainly got the height for it. Okay, I'm actually cutting it a little close on the stamina, but not too close. Hello, dragon. Five left. Oh, okay, I see. I see. I don't think we need this one. Um, it puts the stamp on when you talk to, what's his name, Wentzworth. That's cool, and that works. Okay, so we've got that one already. There's one here, though. And it looks like it's higher up than all of this stuff here. Which is kind of unfortunate. But this stuff looks like it might be higher up. Let me... Oh, but there's a, there's a tower right here, so we might not need to worry about it. Alright, let's head up and away. And I do believe it is south of us. Oh shoot, that's too high. If I can get over there, I don't know if I can do it, but there should be a shooty thingy. It's a technical term. And that would most likely help us get over. Only problem is... Oh, you know what? I don't need to glide there. Because I've already been to the shrine.
I just hope it's high enough up. I guess the other option is I could actually just spawn in a cycle and fly there. But uh, th these islands, they tend to be a little bit on the smaller side. Mind you, with my new cycle design, that might not be a problem. It is a lot more precise than the ones I used to use. Nope, too far. Nope, too far again. Doesn't have to be perfect. But, oh, damn it, Link! Stop it. I kind of like it to be regardless. You know what? That looks pretty good to me. think that's going to do it. Nope, not high enough by a long shot. Okay. Not even close. Oh. Right then. Cycle it is. There goes the cycle, but that's okay. It got me here, and that's the important part. Okay, next. Okay, so we got that one. There's this one. And this looks like it's up higher than that. And this actually reminds me, I have not done the labyrinths yet, any of them. I suppose one of these days I'm going to have to do that because I need to do all of the shrines. And there's at least one, uh, there's at least one, what you call it, there's at least one shrine associated with every laboratory. Maybe more than one, I have no idea, probably only one. But I don't know if there's one at both the ground level and the sky level. Hey, two in a row that didn't fall down. I am impressed. Alright, let's actually go back to Kakariko now, because I'm not sure how many that was. 
and I'd like to update the map as well as figure out what these say. I think that was what, three or maybe? No, I don't think it was four. I think it was three that we just got. So that should be half of what was remaining, leaving another three to grab. Here you go, sir. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. We'll just go past all of this. Oh. The subject here is the actions Queen Raru and Queen Sonia undertook not long after Hyrule's founding. With the kingdom established, they were worried for their people, so they set out to eradicate the monsters troubling them. They created structures called Shrines of Light to seal the monsters away so that they could never be revived. There's more here about light, and time, too. The sense I get is that the two of them may have had supernatural powers. Though it's part of ancient history, it's a feat those among us living today should still be grateful for. Truly an important discovery. Very good, and as promised, I have a reward for you. The thought of such incredible historical artifacts falling down all over Hyrule is so exciting. According to the stone tablet at Lookout Landing, we have five tablets left to find. <laughs> mm. Oh, yes, I see now what we have here. Oh. A first-hand historical account. Mm. Here we learn something about the fashion trends of that era. Hmm. The story's catalyst is their Zelda telling a tailor about the mushroom-patterned outfits becoming popular in her homeland. Intrigued, the tailor fashioned some clothing in that vein and it caught on in ancient high rule. Nobody tell Cece, it'll go straight to her head. Do you know Cece from Hot No Village? Imagine the look on her face if she were to find out. <laughs> they say that trends go in cycles, but I didn't expect mushroom patterns to have been in fashion so long ago. One last thing about the Chamberlain. Ah. Her interest in fashion shows that there was more to her than just devoted service. She was just like anyone else in the kingdom. Very good. I thank you, not just with words, but with this as well. Raru, uh, right. Let's wait for the good translation. Oh. It seems this is the last of the records. The royals whom the Chamberlain served so faithfully were gone one by one. It's heartrending to read. Her pain comes across so clearly in her words. Oh. What's less clear from these entries is the cause of all of these partings. Well, each new mystery is an opportunity to do more research. If I keep digging, someday I'll unravel it. Ah. Like the noble Chamberlain, I must do my part. Very good, and as promised, I have a reward for you. Ah. Three more oh. tablets. <laughs> Ah. Mm. Oh. Okay. So we've got three more to grab.
Okay, so we've got these. Doesn't look like there's anything more over here. Got that one. Well, that one... That one's going to be awkward as hell. It's almost directly under Lookout Tower. But that's so bright white, that's going to be super high in the air. What the heck? And there's nothing around it. Let's try Lookout Landing Tower just to be on the safe side, but... I don't know about this one. <laughs> Oh, you know what I also need to check out? Actually, while I was in that shrine earlier, I tried to get a, an auto-build pattern. I don't know if I succeeded or not. Let me just check that. I need to see my build history. Yeah, okay, I can do it. Interesting. Uh, but we were going to try this. Okay. Oh, I suspect that's... That's got to be so far above us, we can't even see it. Crap. That's no good. Okay, well... The Sky Islands there are pretty high, too. Maybe if I climb to the top of the Temple of Time and spawn in another bike, I might be able to fly high enough to reach it. Sorry, buddy. I have no time to be messing with you. Get it? No time. Temple of Time. He doesn't seem to appreciate the humor. Unoccupied. Or are you a steward? I've been waiting. 
Let me save before I talk to this guy. Just in case. I have been waiting for you. My purpose is to conduct a ceremony to test the strength of any visitors. Tony! Tonio Twitch, how are you doing tonight? What's going on? Thank you so much for bringing your folks over in a raid. How was your stream? What were you up to this evening? Tell me all about it. I would love to hear it. Pub crawl, I love that. Hello, yeah, it's been a while. How are things going? I know you've been uh, pretty tearing things up all over TikTok and all that, and uh, you're doing some pretty great stuff over there, but how's your Twitch stuff going? What are you playing? Let me get you some shout outs here. Thank you so much for bringing your folks over. I really appreciate that. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Uh, I don't know. I, I, it's been a little bit since I've had any TikToks I really, really liked. I'm going to have to start doing some different stuff, I think. Um, okay, so you were doing an art stream. What's going on with the art streaming? I'm very curious about that. Here we go. Oh, well, I appreciate that, Tony. Maybe i it's one of those situations where I'm my own worst critic or something. I don't know. It just feels like I've kind of... I've been playing a lot of Baldur's Gate, and I'm absolutely adoring the game. It's easily my best game of the year for my own personal listing purposes. But I just feel like I was getting a lot more and a lot better Zelda clips than, I was, than I've been getting Baldur's Gate clips. Although I got one today that's pretty good. But uh, yeah, I just feel like it's a better content game for me, uh, Zelda is, than Baldur's Gate 3, which is not why I'm playing. I just haven't finished this one and I need to keep working on it. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But thank you so much for bringing your folks over. If you've never been here before, my name is Gord McLeod. I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch. I play a wide variety of mostly single-player story-driven games with char excellent character and narrative development, as well as some strategy games, sandboxy games, retro RPGs, classic adventure games. And every once in a while, I throw in a Lego build or two. So if any of that sounds good, please do feel free to hit the follow button. And I do have a bit of a video to welcome you in properly. Hopefully it won't scare too many of you away. Welcome. Welcome on in, folks. Let's get the stream started, shall we? Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, uh, runaway helicopter. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Form factor aspect ratio. Oh no 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 crap. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> okay. That. Let's go for it. Oh. Hey, I have not, I have not looted that, sir. May still be coming, actually. That's a little bit of a preview of what you can expect around these parts. 
Uh, let's see, Final Fantasy Marathon. Oh, which Final Fantasy? Were you working on the Pixel Remasters, or are you doing some of the more recent ones? I feel like you've told me in the recent past, but I'm blanking. Uh, probably because, I, in theory, I'm working on Final Fantasy stuff myself. You played them all? Oh, you went through 16. Holy crap, dude. How long did that take? That's got to be a... I can't even imagine. That's incredible. Pixel Remasters 2. I've only gone through one through four of the Pixel Remasters, and that took me a while. A year and a half. I'm not surprised. Oh, boy. that That's quite the project, though. That had to have been a lot of fun. Now, when you got to Final Fantasy VII, did you play the original, or did you do the remake, or did you do both because the remake isn't actually done yet? My purpose is to conduct a ceremony to test the strength of any visitors. Those who pass are told the story of the Great Sky Island. I sense you are qualified to attempt this ceremony. Please inform me when you are prepared to begin. Legend of the Great Sky Island. I don't actually want to do that right now, but that's pretty cool. I don't think we're going to get to that today, sadly. I think... Where is our destination from here? We're going over there. I have no idea if we're high enough up to reach it. Okay. I would love to launch from up there, but I think that's too slopey if we're going to have to do it here. Let's see if we can find this. I'm not entirely sure I'm very confident about this. We'll have to see how it goes, I guess. Pixel Remaster 1 to 6. Original 7, Remastered 8, Steam version 9, HD 10, OG 11. Wait, you can still play 11? I didn't imagine you were including the MMOs in there. Holy crap. Zodiac Age 12, PC 13 and 14, Windows Edition of 15, and PS5 16. Yeah, I guess there's not much option there for 16, right? Oh god. I can barely see that. We're never going to get up there. What the hell? I don't suppose I've got stamina food. Oh, actually I do. We might be okay. Oh, it's not stamina though. Crap, it's battery. Food's not gonna help much with that. I do have Zonai charges though. Uh, hang on, hang on. You just did two weeks of each MMO. That's fair. That works. Oh, we might actually be able to do this. We might just be able to do this. Why did they put this thing so frickin' high up into the atmosphere? Were they trying to go to frickin' space?
There can't be anything up higher than this. This is nuts. Oh, they're absolutely part of the series, Jarg. They are absolutely part of the series. They're not a part of the series that I have a huge amount of interest in, but they are part of it. And I have to admit, I kind of enjoy watching other people play them, even though I wouldn't really be that into playing it myself. This is wild how high up this is. What the heck? Wait, oh! What? Well, so much for my bike. This one's already fallen. Oh, this isn't the one that was... Hang on. Let me guess. It's going to turn out that we already had this one, right? Or that it's literally just landed in Lookout Landing or something like that? Totally skipped them myself when they came out, but it's technically numbered. Yeah, yeah, it's a numbered part of the series, therefore it's official. It is. It's right frickin' there in Lookout Landing. I didn't have to go up there at all. Oh! <laughs> Whoops. My finger slipped. <laughs> at least getting to that one is pretty easy. Oh, wait. Actually, you know what? If that's putting me back here on this uh, platform in the Temple of Time, then that's actually worth dying for because I instantly regretted not doing a particular thing as soon as I left. So this is actually good. This is good. Um, I need to figure out how to do this. Where is, wait, it would be, it would be under maps, I think. How do I do this? Sensor, hero's path move. How do I, shoot, what am I looking for? This is what I get for taking like three weeks off of this game. There's a way that I can put a teleporter marker down, similar to the ones at the shrines, and I don't remember how to do it, and I'm going to kick myself. Because I want to put that down so that I can return here. Just any time I feel like it. Not that it's hard to get back here, but still. Oh, it's got to be here somewhere, right? Uh, Vow of Riju, Sage of Lightning, Sage's Will, Travel, Medallion. There we go. Okay. Now that that's done... Thank you, Sandy. Yeah, I got there eventually. So, absolutely worth the crash landing to be brought back there so I could put a travel medallion do down. That's, that's... Honestly, the first use for a travel medallion I've actually thought of. I can't believe this is one of the last ones that I'm going to get a picture of. I think there is still one other, but...
still, that's just really funny. I probably don't even need this one. It's not showing a red exclamation point, so I probably don't. But I'm photographing it anyway. Bashed lemons into bashed lemonade? Yes. Oh, thank you, Sandy. I appreciate it. Okay. I'm running out of places to look for these things, though. That's the only problem. Got one there. Ah, here we go. Mm, this is another one that's fairly remote from any of the towers, though. There is this one. Oh, holy crap. It's three o'clock already. That's, I guess, just as well that we're just about done gathering these things, I hope. I'm not sure if that one in uh, Lookout Tower actually counted. Okay, so we are looking... Crap, where were we looking? Ah, right here. about getting there from here. Although, some of these other Sky Islands look like they might have the height to do it. And I could definitely use the bike technique to do it if I had to. I'm not sure I'm even going to make that island right ahead of me. No, I think we're going to go for this one and I'll bike to it. me, sir. Oh. Didn't even give me a chance to get a shot off. remember this island. That was kind of a pain in the butt, actually. I'm very glad I don't have to mess with that anymore. Ultra! 
How are you doing? It's wonderful to have you here. How did the rest of your stream go? I hope you were able to get, uh, what was it you were playing, DCS, working with your Toby. Here, let me get you some shout outs. Ultra is an amazing friend of the channel, as well as being one of our mods and a dear friend and wonderful, wonderful, amazing streamer. Please make sure you're following her if you're not already. Got DCS working. It was such a pain in the ass every time. Yeah, well, that's technology for you. I'm glad you did get it working, though. And yeah, we're not playing Baldur's Gate today. I will be playing it again soon. Oh, shoot. This is not going to work. Um, in fact, I will be playing it next time I stream. Whether that's a bonus stream in the next couple of days or my next regular stream on Friday afternoon, whatever the case may be, it's going to be Baldur's Gate. But I got to keep Zelda in the rotation because actually I learned a while back that there is a minimum at least one person who is very grateful that I am actually uploading a complete playthrough of the entire game start to finish. So I don't want this to be one of those ones where, you know, I play it really intensely for a few months and then I stop completely for three years before I finally go back and complete it. I'm going to keep plugging at this one. Even if it slows down a lot, I am going to finish it soon. Hopefully before Starfield gets here, but I'm not holding my breath. I've made a lot of story progress today. Tonight's been a really ridiculously good stream for that, but I'm still not that close to actually finishing it. You're grateful? Thank you, Sandy. I legit was having a panic attack trying to get it working. Oh, man. You're very good at hiding. Yeah, well, I could tell you were bothered. I didn't think you were actually having a panic attack, though. You are pretty good at hiding that, I have to say. Oh, it's actually... Damn it. It's Kakariko Village we want to go see. And what the heck is that thing there? What is that? What's this tiny little sky island? And why is it so low? Weird. Okay. Well, I'm going to head down because I'm going to run out of juice pretty shortly. And I'm a little bit high up to be doing that. Uh, I've done four of them, out, actually. I only have the spirit temple left to do. But there are prerequisites to doing it, and so I haven't been able to yet. Right now, we've been going around to all the little, uh, you know, the things in the sky that we have to take photos of. And I've been grabbing pictures of those for the guy, the researcher in Kakariko Village. And I did the last of the... Um, I got the last of the geoglyphs today, and I got the Master Sword. And I learned the origin of the Master Sword in this game, and my brain is still not quite recovered from that revelation. I won't spoil it, just in case. I, I can't remember if you finished this or not. I don't think you did. But... This story... Uh, oh, I don't really want to hang around these guys. Uh, yeah, the storytelling in this game is just on another level. It's phenomenal. It's so good. It's super emotional and touching and just absolutely, like, I was in shock for a good half hour. And I actually don't get to ride these very often in the overworld. Mostly I use them down in the Underdark. I like using them up here.
still here but lurking while I wind down for bed and eat dinner? No worries, Ultra. It's just a treat to have you here at all. Enjoy your lurk. Enjoy your dinner. Do what you gotta do. Man, I miss the Addison things. It's been a while since I found a new one. Actually, there is one I haven't done yet up in the uh, Death Crater area. Just letting my battery recharge a little. Okay. Oh. Okay, did you find a stone tablet? Yes, I did. Oh. <laughs> A first-hand historical account. Okay, we'll skip through this really awkward to read part and then he'll summarize it for us. My head is spinning. I need to lie down. This is an incredible find. An eyewitness account of the Temple of Time floating up into the sky? It's a landmark discovery for the history of Hyrule. It may be one of the top 10 most important discoveries of all time. Even among all the breathtaking displays of power we knew of from the era to raise the land and its buildings into the sky? That was a feat impressive even to those accustomed to wonders. You can tell as much from this account. Mm. Zelda predicted that a hero would appear in the land they raised into the sky and that he would save Hyrule. The Chamberlain took this on faith and wanted to know how she could help. So she inscribed these records on the stone tablets that Minoru sent into the sky. Oh. I'm so overwhelmed that the tremors have gone past my hands and legs. My whole body is shaking. Please excuse me. This is no way for a researcher to behave. I need to view these accounts as a historian and not get so swept up in personal sentiments. Thank you, Link. And I haven't forgotten about your reward. Oh. The thought of such incredible historical artifacts falling down all over Hyrule is so exciting. According to the stone tablet at Lookout Landing, we have two tablets left to find. Okay. So, yeah, I, the, the one at Lookout Landing, that one won't count then. Oh. If you happen to find more stone tablets, wait. <laughs> that, I still have two to get? Oh. Oof, okay. At least my bike is still here. I was worried when it went into cutscene mode that it might be gone. Ugh, okay, so we have to find two more of these things. Where might they be? It's Bravery Island. No. It's a very good thing they look so distinctive. 
I suppose there could be one sort of semi-camouflaged among all this crap. They do sort of overlap each other a lot here. Okay, there was one over there. And then there's this thing way out in the middle of nowhere. What the heck is this? I guess I'm going to have to visit the, this one one of these days. What's down there? I guess that's, yeah, Gerudo. There's not a whole lot in Gerudo Sky, but wait, what is this? Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. I see you sneaking around over there, and it doesn't look like it's especially high up, either. And the tower's not too terribly far. It does mean letting my bike go, but I guess we can do that. Okay, I might end up being on until closer to 3.30 than, four, than uh, 3 o'clock, I guess. It's already quarter after. But I can't go much later than that. I can't do another 4 o'clock stream. Okay, there it is. Over that away. That's not that far. We can absolutely do this. This is fine. This is okay. Okay, let's see. We're almost there. So there's still going to be one more after this. Right into Mulduga territory, too. Wow. There we go. I think we're just going to go back to Kakariko. I'm going to have to have more time available if we want to find the next one, so... Just pop back, turn this one in, and then we've got one more, and we're done.
Okay. Oh. Oh. Ah. Hmm. Okay. A first and historical account. I am shocked. Mm. So we'll just skip past this. The rough translation. I did all of the geoglyphs. Yeah, it's it took me half an hour to fully recover, Greeny. And I say fully, kind of loosely. According to this, she arrived in Hyrule unexpectedly from another kingdom. It seems she was a beautiful princess. Her strange clothing perplexed the people of Hyrule, and many were suspicious of her at first. But this Zelda had such an undeniable air of nobility that those who doubted she was of royal birth were soon silenced. Ah. What a tale. Oh. It's all so fascinating. I think I skipped a couple of messages there, but that's okay. This level of detail on individual people is virtually unheard of in texts from so long ago. I feel extremely blessed to be researching ancient Hyrulean in such times. <laughs> Note, too, how clearly this conveys the writer's feelings regarding Zelda. Once it was clear Zelda would be staying, she applied to be the she applied to be Chamberlain to the princess. That suggests real admiration. Very good. I thank you, not just with words, but with this as well. Yep, I do. I have one more to find, but I'm not going to be able to do it tonight. I'm already late ending, and I can't be up until 4 or 5 again today. Ooh. So I'll have to get the last one next time I stream this. And I'm going to try and make sure it's not another three weeks before I do. I'll do another bonus stream sometime, and we'll play this. And I'm really, after today, I've never been more invested in the story of this game. <laughs> so we've got almost all of it now. So I assume the last piece is going to go here. That's going to be pretty cool. So yeah. I finally found it. You're forcing it? You gotta do the party? What do you mean by the party? Okay, let's see. Um, now, one question since you happen to be here, Greeny. Is the Master Sword breakable? Do I have to worry about replacing it? <laughs> Hope it won't be too long before you stream Tears of the Kingdom again. No, I don't think it will be. I'll try to get at least one stream in a week until I finish it. I really would seriously like to try to finish it before uh, Starfield comes out. Because at that point, I'm not going to be done Baldur's Gate 3 by the time Starfield comes out. It's taken me a couple of weeks just to get to what I think might be the end of Act 1. And we've got Act 2 and Act 3 to go in that game. And I'm already familiar with a lot of Act 1. Not all of Act 1, but a lot of Act 1. 2 and 3 are going to take longer just because I have no familiarity with it. And I'm going to be wanting to explore and take my time more. So we're going to be co-streaming... Starfield and Baldur's Gate 3 for a while, and I don't really want to have to have Tears of the Kingdom mixed up in that as well, because that's just going to be, you know, I mean, I am a variety streamer, but even so, that's a lot. Three huge RPGs all simultaneously. Yeesh. It's just like Breath of the Wild has a charge but doesn't break. Excellent. That's very, very good. Okay. I am going to save here and have a wonderful night, Sandy. Thank you so much for hanging out this evening. I appreciate it. It was great to have you here. So, let me see if I can find somebody to go raid. Are you still on, Greeny? Can I raid over to you? 
or are you done for the evening? Uh, yeah, I love those emotes. Thank you. Thank you, Sandy. Let me see. Bunny Tokyo's on and playing ball. Oh, you are still on. Never mind. We're going to, uh, we'll have to make a point of visiting Bunny at some point. But Greeny is on and still playing Baldur's Gate 3. I assume you're on one of your breaks, Greeny. So this could be one of those opportunities for you to raid yourself again. Oh, he's already back and playing. Okay. So we're going to, oh, um, I guess I should type that in my own chat. We're going to go raid Greeny. Okay, guys, you know Greeny. He's one of my mods here in chat. He's a longtime friend of the channel. He's a really fantastic laid-back streamer. Really awesome guy. Let's go visit him. Uh, so we're going to... I've got you his link. Let me get you the raid call. Here at the Library of Lore, we use Library Raid. Uh, we use... Shh, it's a Library Raid. You've been bookmarked with the heart emote and the wave emote of the channel if you are a sub. If you're not a sub... You can use the Twitch Raid and the Tomb Raid emote. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emote you feel is fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own, or maybe from Twitch themselves, uh, maybe even another streamer, feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's get over to Greeny's channel, see what's going on with his Baldur's Gate playthrough. Looks like he's back in the Druid Grove. So I don't know how far, far he's gotten so far. I know he's a bit behind me because he hasn't had the opportunity to stream as often. But I know he's a massive fan of this game. So it's always fun to watch him play it. So let's get over there and see how he's doing. I will be back for sure on Friday with uh, some more Baldur's Gate 3 of my own. And um, temptation may arise and I might end up doing another bonus stream at some point during the week. Who knows? But uh, whenever I end up being back here, you know it's going to be a good time. So I hope to see you back here for that. Have yourselves a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world. And I'll catch you again soon. Bye for now.